So I wake up this morning to find out that somebody's been giving away my music for free. Let's take a look at that. As vain as it may sound, I search my own name on YouTube and Google often just to see if anything new has been posted. Since I compose music, sometimes schools record it and post it on the internet, or sometimes articles are written about performances of my music. So when I Google myself, sometimes I'm seeing this information for the first time. I honestly recommend you do it yourself just to see what do other people see when they search for your name. While Googling my name, I found a website that was offering my music, and I was kind of concerned, so I checked it out. I'm showing you this website not to advertise them, but to show you how close to a scam this website really is. So if I go into the search bar and put in my name, there's two titles, it's the same song, and they both show a play button. Luckily, it starts later and it's only a sample. I completely support a sample that suggests if you like this song, here's the source. Go to their YouTube channel, go to Spotify, go to iTunes, and get the music correctly. Unfortunately, when I click to go to the page and scroll down, one of the options says free album download. If I click that, it takes me to download album. If I click that, it loads the same page, but with options to download the song. The first page logo that it showed you was my YouTube cover photo. But when we go to this page, this is the album artwork from Spotify and iTunes. So it really makes me wonder where do these people get this material? I understand if they stole it from YouTube, it's like easier than ever nowadays. But for them to also have the cover art from my album, and then have a lossless version of it. If you don't know what lossless means, it's the same quality that I uploaded it to my distributor. If you click this link to download it as an MP3, it takes you to a website called filecat.net. And these people, what they do is they professionally host files. They keep them on their website. When you need them, they're gonna give them to you really slow. And if you want it to even be normal or fast, they're gonna charge you money. So you're in a situation where you want my song for free, granted you can get it incredibly cheap anywhere, but you want it for free, so you click download. What are they gonna download? If you zoom in real far, you're gonna download a zip file. And I don't know if you know much about viruses and malware, but zip files are the preferred method for getting them on your computer. A zip file is a folder that is zip shut to make it smaller and to make it more compact, easier for download. And when you get it on your computer, you have to open it. And I don't know about your computer, but mine always says, do you trust this file? Because when they open it, it could contain anything. The whole purpose is it zips shut. The computer does not know what's inside. So when they unzip it, it might be viruses, it might be malware, it might be spyware, it might be something that can damage your computer, all in the hopes of getting my song for free. While we're zooming in on things, let's take a look about where Filecat's from. Estonia. Estonia. Yeah that Estonia. The trouble the internet provides with this is that even though the website's hosted in Estonia and the crime I guess is being committed in Estonia, they're providing music all over the world so anybody can access this song and download it. So what's the motivation here? Kidsmusics.com is picking up random kid songs and putting them together so you can download them for free as long as you go to Filecat and whatever. And then Filecat's saying, well why am I hosting these random kid songs on my website? All comes down to money. So as soon as you get bored of slowly downloading their zip files, they're then gonna say, well, if you wanna download them fast, here are the prices. For 14.99 euros, you can download this illegal music at a normal speed. And you can see the prices grow from there. So they're giving away my content for free in the hopes that eventually you will pay for their services to download my content for free at a normal speed. Also, I don't understand why there's asterisks on 30 days and 90 days, and then there's no definition of what the asterisk means at the bottom of the page. To put it in perspective, you could legally buy the song Elements of a Story from iTunes for 99 cents or Amazon for 89 cents. And to put that into euros, 89 cents in American cash is only 79 cents in euros. In fact, if you wanted every song I've ever put out on the internet and you wanted to own the MP3, it's yours forever. $42.79 on Amazon would get you all of that without stealing, without having to go to Estonia to download their It would be done. And that's still probably the most expensive way to go about it. It's available on YouTube and Spotify and you just have to watch an ad every now and then. So how do these websites get away with stuff like this? Let's talk about the DMCA or the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. 
When the internet came along in the 90s, which I know is crazy for you to think about, pirating became such a popular thing that the government had to step in and say that copyrighted material should not be shared on the internet. It was easier than ever for someone to upload a CD onto the internet and millions of people could download it. The DMCA states that that's illegal and it needs to be stopped and allows the copyright owner to claim their contents on the internet and needs to be taken down before legal action can be taken. So both Filecat and kidsmusics.com have DMCA pages on their website where you can openly say, that's mine, why do you have it? Now there's just something odd about websites that are knowingly hosting copyrighted material saying, oh, by the way, if this is yours, you can claim it here. Now, Filecats is pretty straightforward. You fill out the report and they even say they'll respond expeditiously. And that's to cover their side. And they say expeditiously because they know they're hosting illegal material. There's no way they don't know. They would be admitting if they said they didn't realize they're hosting illegal material. But they have this page up so people like me can say, well, we both know what you're doing. This is me asking you to stop. Kidsmusics.com though takes a different approach. Instead of getting right into the legal banter, they open up with an article that says, Piracy can help music sales of many artists, research shows. And when you click on it, it takes you to a random website, torrentfreak.com. Wow, that seems so reliable. People who torrent often saying torrenting helps the world. If you don't know what torrent means, it's a service for stealing stuff even faster. If you read the article, it goes on to explain that medium-sized and beginning-sized artists benefit from people stealing the music, it spreads your name faster than trying to sell it. It also admits that artists that are already established, it hurts the most. It even goes on to personally call out Ed Sheeran, saying that they're not benefiting from it because people are stealing it instead of buying it. Well, duh, that's what the whole point of torrenting is. The website suggests that a medium-sized or small-sized artist like myself would benefit from the wild spread of free material. Thanks, torrentfreak.com. I really appreciate the pat on the back. The second article they provide says the EU spent $400,000 on research proving that pirates do not affect the sales of digital content. It takes us to a website called busy.org, another reliable website where I definitely get all of my news from. The author of this article three years ago doesn't have an avatar, and the picture that was at the beginning of this is already broken. Already have tons of trust in this article. The article explains that the EU used $400,000 of taxpayer money to figure out if illegal downloads affected the legal sales of the same items. The conclusion in 2014 was that 51% of adults and 72% of children had somehow used illegal content at some point in their life. This article goes on to defend that the only people really hurt were movies. Big players with money were the ones hurt the most. Can you go figure? If you had the most to gain, you also have the most to lose. So not really pleased with the outcome of this article, I scroll down to the comments to see if anyone has the same feelings I have, because somebody else has to be going through this also, right? The website's covered with music. The first comment was pretty awesome, but the second comment says, hey, this is plagiarism, and gives them tips on how not to plagiarize. And it says, here's the original link. Wow! You're telling me the website that steals from people use an article about it's how it's okay to steal from people and they stole that text from another website? Wow! So just to be clear, kidsmusics.com steals music, tells people it's okay, look at this article. You go to the article and the article is then accused of stealing the text of their article from another website. Man, the integrity. So then I go to click on the source link and what comes up? Hold on, warning, this link might be unsafe. Please double check the link before you proceed. I like my new computer way too much to click on this link. I'm already nervous about the websites I've been on, so I'm not gonna take it any further. But honestly, this is all I need to see that it's depending on, depending on to make what they're doing seem legal. If the trashiness has not overwhelmed you yet, I haven't even gone down to the text of their DMCA page where they try to defend themselves. Please be aware that you will be liable for damages, including cost and attorney fees, if you misrepresent information listed on our website that is infringing on your copyrights. We suggest you first contact an attorney for legal assistance on the matter. Now, why do they say that? That is their bold dog. That's scaring you away. The lowest cost to even have a letter drafted is around $300 from an attorney saying, you're breaking the law, stop it. So I have to invest 300 of my own dollars so I can possibly prevent the 
it seems to be in their benefit that I don't even want to go that route. They're going to keep giving away my 89 cent song as an advertisement for Filecat, who eventually is going to get your euros. But anyway, the article goes on to explain in six very complicated steps that you need to prove, yes, I'm the one who wrote it, yes, I own it, and no, you can't have it, which again seems like an easy way to get people to stop what they're doing. Yes, they acknowledge the DMCA says they can't do this, but in order for me to claim my music, they want to make it as difficult as possible and as expensive as possible for me so that I have no interest to follow through. The final cherry on top of all of this is the disclaimer at the bottom of every one of their pages. It reads, all children's music provided in this blog are only samples, except you can download the entire song at high quality. These samples are provided to give users the idea of music, the idea of music, you know, because you don't have any idea of music. All the rights are reserved to the kid songs audio company. Okay, there should be an apostrophe in there because there's possession, the songs are, because the kids songs own the audio company. Reserved to the kids' songs audio company. Yeah, the kids' songs possess the audio company in that one. Okay, all users should delete the content as soon as they view it. So if you download my lossless quality audio file from beginning to end, you should delete it when you're done enjoying it, according to them. Blog owners hold no responsibility for illegal usage of the content. The, uh, I don't even I don't even know what to say to that. Please support the composers by buying their records and releases. Thank you so much, kidmusics.com, for supporting the composers and the artists. Your 12-point font sentence at the bottom of your page makes me feel so much better that in the middle of your page, in 18 font, you threaten me with attorney's fees and costs if I come after you. Whew, I feel so much better. Thanks for going on this journey with me, and I'll see you soon.